The only way to reach the village of Manga on Nigeria's border with Cameroon is by boat. On November 17th last year, Cameroon separatist fighters crossed into Nigeria and attacked. They killed five people, including the local chief. Shaban Takari heads the regional government. This is the second time he travels up the Katsina River since the attack. Where you see us now, this is Manga village in Kasum local government, Karaba state of Nigeria. Takari has called for more security forces in this area. Last April, he already escaped death when local bandits opened fire on his convoy. Now, following the raid from the self-declared state of Ambazonia, he says Nigeria faces a new threat at its eastern border. The governor of Taraba State have met with Mr. President in Abuja, requesting the posting of Navy and Air Force. Navy will mount the water with the immigration, the army for the land, and then Air Force to fly across the boundary to checkmate the Amazonia. Villagers say armed men opened fire in the early morning in Manga. The violence of the four-hour attack is still visible. Where the attackers came and met him, they shot him here dead. So this is where the house of the chief of Manga. People scattered to the bush and hid in the nearby river. Abu Bakar, the chief's brother, watched the scene from his boat. The Amazonians came and started shooting. We never heard gun sounds like the ones we heard that day. I will never forget those sounds. Apparently, they even shot our children hiding in the water or behind trees and then threw them in the water. That is what we saw that day. If not for the Navy and the immigration, I believe the people of Manga would have ceased to exist. Twenty-one people are still missing. A few days before the attack, 30 Cameroonians fled here after separatists burnt down their houses. This couple survived the raid. We were supposed to leave this place too, because we don't feel safe. But because we saw the military here, we decided to stay. It has been five years since Anglophone separatists declared independence in Cameroon's two English-speaking regions. Since then, conflict has continued in the majority French-speaking country. At least one million people have fled their homes during the fighting in Anglophone Cameroon, according to the UN. Nigeria has recorded more than 70,000 refugees. Nigerian soldiers patrol the border, but Takari's government says the threat is great, and not just from separatists. The UN says last October, Cameroonian troops illegally crossed into Nigeria, looking for separatist fighters. It takes the grace of God that we calm down. But if that thing happens again, it's going to be disastrous. Yes. Nigeria battles conflict on many fronts. Armed gangs sow terror in the northwest. In the northeast, jihadists wage a decade-long insurgency. The military is already overstretched. Takari's request for more support may have little result. Locals in the east will have to fend for themselves.